Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again for a ballet bar. My name is Rin Chao Du. I'm the artistic director of Rin Chao Du Ballet Coaching. This is absolutely my pleasure to work with you every Wednesday afternoon. Although I cannot see you, but again, I can feel your energy and I receive all your comments and of support and encouragement after class. So thank you so much for your constant, continuous support and attention to my work. Last night, we had a, an incredible night. Um, my wife, Erin, and I gave a presentation, if you will, gave a workshop. We talked about our experience with uh, a ballet Giselle. And that certainly was one of the highlights of our career. And it also was a significant period of time in our personal lives because not long after that, uh, we, we, we got married. So it was like a wonderful experience of revisit. We look at the videos and revisit our past life, if you will. There was a, we did that once upon a time. We, it was us dancing those roles. Many years passed by. Right now, all our lives are so different from at that time. But it was uh, really, really sweet to see um, those videos again and to share with our Discord community. So please join my or Discord community and there are tons of information. It's a fantastic group of people together, share information and talk about their experiences. And I also use the platform to communicate with you all. Please, you will see the link um, Mr. Isaac is going to provide you. Please join our Discord community. Okay, let's get it started. Let's do river rounds, okay? Let's do plie first. So in first position, simple, no arms, two demi plie, two, three, élange, four, on the way up, grand plie, six, seven, and eight. Second position, same thing, two demi plie, two, and three, and four, grand plie, six, seven, reach out, eight, pull the bras to the side with the tendu, two, three, and four, and pull the bra forward, six, seven, and eight. Fourth position. Again, two demi plie, one ground plie. Tendu, fifth. Go right ahead, ground plie right away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull the bra forward and back. Tendu, first, roll up, lengthen your spine, pull up your knees. A beautiful, gentle balance when you're ready. Okay, ready? First position, left hand on the bar, please.
You want to initiate. I have to remind myself all the time. You have to initiate this elongate sooner than you think. Let me break this down for you. So first, two to me, please. You do one and two. Watch this hand and my head. Three and four. You see? Three, I'm already creating environment. And the anticipation of the four. So compared to this, one and two, three and four and, to me it's a little late, it's a little abrupt because I want four to be fully engaged with your back before the ground play. Provide that comfort for yourself, the, the sense of peace. Nothing abrupt, everything, there is order, okay? Left. It's the bat mount tendu from, from fifth position. We do. In fifth, accent in. We do and one, and two, and one, two, three. In plie. To the, close to the front. Side and side and one, two, three. Inside front and one, and two, one, two, plie deep, one, two, three, one, two, three. On the down, back, back, one, avoid bottom back before the foot. Actually, the bottom, push it forward, just to your leg, and side, sorry, close back, side, and side, and one, two, three, transfer, Back and two, one, two, three, coup de pied out, in, coup de pied out, in. Okay. Make sure there's uh, the, the three stages of that plie, it has, it has to go deep, deep, and deeper. This is what it is. And one and two, this is on three. Three. Deeper, deepest. The third one's the deepest. So then don't come up. You brush as you come up, as you're gonna go assembly. Don't come up and brush. The whole purpose of it 
is for you to feel the pressure in plie, deep in the plie, you come up, okay? Preparation. Ready? The, the could you the last one is tricky because I look at myself in the mirror. You implant, it is so easy to do this. So easy. I wanna think, you think it this way. You, you want the hip, your heel has to come up creeping up. Watch. Don't just come up this way. I'm gonna attach my front foot. Only allow the toes to go to the back. So plie, heel attach to the supporting leg. Toes flare out. If you don't think the heel attaching the supporting leg, I guarantee you it's gonna go like this. You see, you see what I just did? So easy. Attach to it, only the toes scraping back. That's something you have to think about. It's just because of how the position is placed and how the body is structured. If you don't think about it, it's going to sickle. Left. Relax your leg a little bit. Let's do three PKs first. We do one, two, three. Think about up, up, up. Then you think about fifth, fifth, fifth to the side. One, two, three. Fifth, fifth, fifth to the back. One, two, three, fifth, fifth, develop a front, three to the front, three to the side. On the down, bottom down, one, 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 in, in, in. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, fifth, fifth, develop a back, three to the back, three to the side, and done. Okay. Ready?
clarity. Very important quality in ballet training. Clarity and simplicity. Most of the times in ballet training, it is not, it's, it is not really about how much you do. It is about how appropriate, how accurate that you do what's necessary, what's asked for. I had a wonderful conversation with this subject in Towson University this morning, uh, where I hold a position of lecture in Towson University Dance Department. I asked the students to put a, one simple analogy. Let's, let's say you go to a restaurant, you ordered a plate of food, you look at the menu, you decided what you wanted, and you understood what's on this dish. You have maybe three, four, maybe five ingredients. State, clearly stated on the menu, okay? So I asked the students, what do you think about the service? If the plate of food that you ordered, you expected have these five ingredients on the plate and came, had a 10 ingredients in it. The other five, the, the restaurant, the chef just decided just throw them in. What would you think? You, you, would be, you would be happy with it? I don't think so. I think many people will be confused because that's not what you ordered. It could be something very nice. It could be something, or the worst part is it could be something wrong, something that inappropriate on your plate. It came to you, you would be so confused. And I don't believe you would accept that dish. Ballet exercise, the same thing. Especially in the early training and in the intermediate level training, the ingredient in each combination to me, it's minimum. Look at this combination. Two things, PK and jeté, that's it. I held my upper body. I put my apron in the correct position. That's it. And do those two things well. Jeté, PK, do it well, and that's it. I think this is something we have to think about, um, especially in our early training, yeah. All right, left. Relax your leg a little bit. Let's do, we do round de jambe à terre from first position. Six, seven, and eight. We do plié, susu, plié, susu. And on um, five, could it be a six, and the heel forward, seven, and uh, eight. You all the way up, arabesque, and demi relevant. Rondo de jambe terre starts there. You do one, two, one, two, three, plie five, and six, seven, and eight. Seven and uh, eight, two fifth position. One and two, three and four, five. Could it be six? Open your knees. Seven and uh, eight. Round the jump. One, two, three and uh, four. Plie, tendu. Plie, tendu. Pull the breath forward. Three, 
and four. Pull the bra back, six, add a two, seven, and eight. We do one and two, three and four. Plie five, add a two, six, a little balance, élange, finish. Watch the head. One, two, three, four, five, coup de pied, six, scoop out, present the rotation. Round the jump. Two, three, and four. Plie tendu. Plie tendu. Plie tendu. Fifth. Continue from the back. The pot de bras goes. Forward, back, back, attitude. Plie, ground round the jump. Lift, tombe forward, arm to the side, the arm to the side, directly to third, to the corner, while the back leg become attitude. Okay? All right, let's try it, please. As you know, rond de jambe bater is the first combination on the bar to connect those dots together. So before that, all we did was one dimensional, either tendu or jeté. Rond de jambe connects them together. However, the pressure you have on the floor, it's not even, in my opinion, the heaviest pressure is when you come into first position. So you're pushing down and heavy, then the energy you create, the pressure you built by passing through first position, then the pressure released from there creates the round. As if you're gonna clean a surface, right? You have a, a paper towel on your hand, you're gonna clean the surface. You don't apply power in your hands the entire time. It's not. If you do a circular motion, you're pressing down, release. Down, release. Naturally, if you think about it, next time you try to clean the tabletop, you don't apply the whole time the pressure. You go down, down. This is the same sensation in Rondo de jambe à terre. Pushing down, pushing down. So it's about creating pressure, release the pressure. 
creating release. And one little detail, when you do release the pressure, apply the little toes to it. Pushing little toes. That the accent is out there when the toes scraping the floor. That's the accent. You go one, pressure, two, then one, two, three. Try that, please. Left side. Relax, stretch your calf a little bit. Let's do fondue goes like this. We do fondue front brush. Brush. Same idea. Pressure, release. Pressure, release. You always have a pressure in plie. Never loose. Always there is a resistance in plie. So one, two, three, and four. Four and five, and six, seven, and eight. Close. One, and two, three, and four, pas de bourre, seven and eight. One, two, and three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, reach four. Pas de bourre, plie, grand, grand, le jambe to the front. And we finish with the right and left together, okay? Once again, fondue, 45 degrees. Brush back, brush to the front. Then fondue, side, fondue, side. Since my last fondue from the back, I'm gonna close front, but I close to the bar. My top arm is gonna direct, again, simple, from third position to first. That's it, don't do anything else. The back foot is going to from fifth position to attitude. My head is tail back. I tail back, come around, I go under. Then I do élongé, pas, pas de bras back, back, plié, grand rond de jambe. Then we'll go to the other side. Let's try fondue, please. Ready? 
Ready? Stretch your calf. I, I, when I was in school, I was always fondue and well of alarm, two things, my least favorite. Because my teacher would make us hold the position so long, legs shaking and everything else. Until I actually discovered a combination like this, right away, I'm going to think. When I go down plie, I think rest. Yes, I applied pressure to do the proper plie. But at the same time, I'm not going to hold my breath by doing this. I'm just going to go to plie. A little bit relaxed. This idea is extremely important toward the end of the combination when your calf is really sore, your calf has become very tired. So I'm actually going to cheat. I'm actually going to use that plie to relax my calf, to stretch my calf, as though I'm doing this, right? For example, the second side, you're going to do two fondue to the side. By the time that happens, you're pretty tired. Relax. Take your time. Take your time down here. Sometimes when we get tired, we get a little panic that we become holding our breath. This will aggravate the tiredness. Relax, take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. When you go down plie, most times you exhale. Don't inhale when you go to the plie. Don't do like this. Don't, look at me. Exhale. Inhale on the way up. Exhale. like that. It's healthy, it's a smart way to move, and also it's correct. Regulate your breathing to be a part of it as well. How about, um, what about on, on the down, this, this lovely combination, on the down. So fondue back, front, back, two to the side, I open, Attitude front, attitude back, élange, pas de bout, rep, ground round the jambe to the back, then left side, brush, brush, side, side, open, not so high, open, now watch this, there, under, I look this hand, under, over, élange, Retour front, front, plié, ground around the jump, to the back. And all the way to the back. And I just finished back fifth. It's fine. Okay, please. Right foot back.
Good. Okay. Stretch a little bit more, please. Let's do. We do front leg goes. And one, and two, and three, and four. And back, and side, front, side, side. And a plie one, relevé two, and a three, and four, and a five, and six, seven, Eight. And uh, one and two, three and four. Front, side, one, two, three. And uh, one, two, and uh, three, four, and uh, five. Front, six, seven, eight. Hold and finish. Hold the back arabesque and just hold and finish. Come into fifth position. Okay, don't rush toward the end. Stabilize it. Look at the mirror. Something wrong? Quick, quickly uh, uh, change. Quickly fix it. Stabilize it. Then you close. When you fix an issue, you don't want to create a production out of it. You don't want to make the whole world know that something wrong. You want to change. Let's say something. My heel is not up like this. Quickly. You see? Nobody knows. Don't do this. Don't do this. There's no reason for it. Out quickly. No, you're done. Nobody sees. Still perfect. Okay? Ready? See, something went wrong. I look at myself, it was a little off. I get myself back. That's it. You know, all ballet dancers, I have to share with you. All ballet dancers are perfectionist. They want to be perfect. I get it. I do too. I want it to be perfect. But sometimes you have got to give yourself a break. You're human after all. Something is going to happen. Something's going to go wrong. You planned that beautiful triple period. Guess what? It's not always going to work out for you. The important aspect to this is what do you do when you didn't meet your own expectation? What did you do? Move forward. Forget about it. Move forward. Learn from your mistake. If it was a mistake, learn from it. Analyze it. Reflect on it. Move forward. Sometimes a mistake is invaluable. Now I realize that I learn a lot from my mistakes. It is okay to make a mistake. It is okay to make a one mistake, the same make two, mistake two times, don't make the third time. Don't make the three mistakes consecutively. Let's say a combination. 
you did a combination different from everyone else. Most likely you did wrong, correct? So when you did the right side was wrong, make sure you don't repeat the left side. And it, for some reason you did right, left side again, take that note next time. Listen to what your teacher said. So learn, don't let a good mistake go wasted. I mean, those are life lessons, you know, I'm, I want to share with young, young people today. Most of the things I said to everyone, really, it's beneficial for young people. It's something that I wish somebody had said to me when I was your age. And I think it will, well, in fact, probably somebody did. I just didn't care for so much. So I encourage you to really listen and learn some of the things that the elderly teach you because they probably come from experience and it, it's invaluable. Okay? All right, let's go to the left side, please. Stretch your calf. Wonderful. Stretch your calf. Okay. Let's do a little stretch, please. Okay, just if it's slow enough, just follow me. Forward, the leg front, side, and back. Just follow me, keep one eye on me. It's slow enough, we'll do it together.
let's do a little adagio. I always say little because there will be a, a bigger thing in the center. So just a small adagio on the bar. Focus on your alignment. Focus on your supporting leg actually. Okay, based on the correct alignment of your supporting leg, then the working leg can go as turned out as high as possible. Okay. Okay. So the combination goes in six, seven, open, eight. We do a form do. One, two, three, four, and I release little pressure. It is not a jeté, it's not a kick. It just release, it create a little air with my toes. And we do one, two, arabesque, three, and little air, four, little articulation. Then we do one, two, three, back, soutenu, added to, à la seconde, devant, and open, like that, okay? And then we'll go to the left side. Ready? I give everything, I tell you, I, I give everything in this combination. There's nothing I can give more in my current capacity. I'm, I have to say, I demonstrate some of the Epromont, some of the basic uh, integrities in ballet, but I don't dance anymore. I'm a teacher now, so this is just a demonstration. It is not. Um, a, a professional standard because the leg will go a lot higher and everything else. So what I want to show is just a form. But doing that for this last combination, I, to be completely honest with you, I, I gave everything. There's nothing I can do more for this particular combination. So there's a question that we, as a student, we kind of have to ask ourselves. Whenever we take class, how much do we have left? Let's say one particular combination. For example, just a tendu. Tendu to the side. And close. I can honestly say what I just did, there's nothing really I can do anymore to be, let's say, more stretched, more point. That was it. And my current state of condition, that was it. Right? So the question is for for you all, for the students out there. Everything you do, do your best. Give everything. Let the teachers correct you. Let the teachers put you on the right path. But you, as far as your energy, as far as your, your investment, you have to give everything. From your heart. Then you set up a condition for the teacher to coach you. Because when a teacher says to you, do more, work harder, 
pull your feet more. That's not coaching, right? That is just tell you you can do more. Whatever that you are doing, you need, it needs to be more in order for the teachers can make you more refined. So you, as a student, your responsibility is to create a perfect environment for the teachers to work with you. That including your physical presence, your state of mind, and your energy. Your body disposition. You're ready to receive instructions. You're ready for class. You're ready for ballet. It's easy said than done, okay? Because as we know, class is not one day or two days. It's continuous every day, okay? So just put that in the back of your head. Create a perfect physical presence for the teachers to give you the instructions that you need. Okay, let's do the last combination. Ground bottom up. We do. We do and one and two and one two three and stop and stop and behind your arm to the back one and two and one two three one two three su ti nu left fifth and fifth and tendu up in. To the side, one and two, and behind your elbow. Back and two, and one, two, brush front. One, two, three. Sutin your other side. Okay, please. Wonderful. Thank you so much for this hour with me. I truly feel your, your energy and uh, this is a great platform for, for me to, to share some of my thoughts with you. Speaking share with thoughts, we, I'm very excited to let you know, all of us, you know, Mr. Josh, Mr. Isaac and I and the team behind this working very hard, not for the everyday business, but thinking about the future, think about what's down the road. I feel pretty confident to let you know that we have some very exciting news to share with you that have something to do with physical space, in-person, face-to-face coaching and class opportunities. I can't wait to make a big announcement when everything's in line, but I think it can happen. Again, thank you so much. We have things down the line to improve our service to you. And uh, thank you for all of your support and trust and encouragement. See you next time. Thank you so much.